and welcome back to the Forklift Certified Gambling Podcast. I'm your host, Forklift Certified Gambling. <laughs> <laughs> you my co-host, Sandy G. What's up, everyone? Roll with it. Executive <laughs> producer Mo in the background. Sorry, yeah, I got her cracking up. Got some good jokes today. Second take, second take. But we're back at it again, folks. <sighs> Had a good week last week. Not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad, right? Making a lot of money. Yeah, it was uh overall pretty good week. We finally hit a bucket, folks. I know we ain't been keeping track of the buckets like that, but yeah, it feels good to finally say we can cash when we cash the three team teaser. So uh. Who do we have in that? At Arizona at plus eleven and a half, which I mean, one out, that, right? That do they one out? Yeah. Right. Was plus never in out. Um, Denver plus nine and a half. I mean, <sighs> Denver had a chance. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Um, and then Pitt plus covered seven. the big number. Pitt plus seven. Lost in overtime. Uh, days, still covered the hit. number, so we got the fuck it this week. Money. How do we do on prime time this week? So we had Thursday night. I think we went like one and two. We always start like one and two on that. Sunday night you hit. Monday Sunday night we hit. you went two and one. Thursday yep. night you went one and two. That sounds about right. But one overall for Thursday. the week you are eleven and five. Eleven and five on the week. I Pretty think good. Is. Went four and two on the six pack. Cameron, who'd you have on your six pack last week? Uh, last week my six pack I had the Rams covering. The Rams, Rams were always covering. That was always. Old man Flacco came also. back and couldn't. Couldn't get it done. Nah, he looked good for the first quarter, and then after yeah. that, it was like, ooh. Yeah. There's a reason why he retired. Yeah. Brown's defense is a different monster away than they are at home, so couldn't get that done. Uh, you had Detroit. Yeah, Detroit minus four and a half. Man, they started, what, like 21 and nothing? And then yeah, they, the Saints clawed their way back into the game, and I was like, they, oh, my God, dude, they might I blow was, this. I thought they were going to blow it in the fourth quarter, but. Jehovah's they covered. Witnesses. They covered. The, they the, covered for us. The spread, uh, spread came through for us. Who was your last pick this Sunday? Uh, Denver. Mister Limited showed why he was limited. Yeah. Mister Limited. I mean, he honestly could have won it in overtime. Yeah, third and goal. Yeah. No. Threw three picks for the game. You can't Jeez. win ball games like that. Uh, Jeez. Yeah. yeah, you can't win games on picks like that. Yeah, we were uh buying high on Denver on that one, so. That was kind of a tough pill to swallow, but Mr. Limited came back down and uh, unlimited services not looking that real for us folks. I went two and one, so we had a four and two week. I had the Niners minus two and a half. They're always gonna cover that game. They're always gonna cover against the Eagles. Debo popped off, Debo and the Black Forces showed up three tutties. Um Brock Purdy now is actually the favorite for MVP at plus three fifty. And I got him at fifty to one, so I'm pretty happy sitting on that ticket right now. Um, I had Tennessee plus one. <sighs> Tennessee plus one. Man. We could. There was a lot mm-hmm. I can say about that game. I was sick as a dog, laying in bed, trying to. Old man Tannehill <laughs> snapping the ball. Even when he's not the quarterback, he fucking ruins everything for us. He found, he found a the way. The extra point that would have won the game ended up being a tie game, having to go into overtime. Titans get the field goal in overtime and then lose to the fucking deep ball to Alex Pierce. <sighs> Titans should have won that game. Titans should have won that fucking game. So, end of the week 2 and one but Titans broke my heart. 11-5, though. 11-5 and five on the week. Yeah, I can't uh-huh. play it too much. It was that a good week. That 3-0 and on the bucket really worked. Yeah, I think it was like plus 140. I think you got it like plus 160. Let me tell you, dude. The fuck it is like, it's kind of like bringing home a five from the bar at 5 a.m. You know what I'm saying? It, it It's like, fuck it, dude. It it might only be a good time once every 10 weeks, but that one good time <laughs> is worth your nine fails. <laughs> okay. Uh, Spoken like a real DJ <laughs> from executive producer Mo in the background. Spoken like a real night out. Yeah. He's um, the type of guy to go sprawling. <laughs> I, I, I do some promiscuous activities at night. What can some I say? Some nefarious activities. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't ask what we're on, folks. We're bringing y'all these picks every week. We're bringing y'all. <coughs> breathe, Excuse brother. Me. Breathe. I know. I know. Breathe. Breathe, my brother. Breathe. I'll just put it this way. You, you take yourself, Ray. I'm going to start this six-pack off real nice and good. <laughs> Miami minus 13. Fading the tits. Who's stopping Tyreek? Who's stopping Waddle? 
Who's stopping a chain? Who's stopping Mostert? Like, I don't think we got anyone passing up two bucks. Yeah, I'm just saying. I, I'm out. And so, Jeffrey Simmons is uh, no, looking yes. questionable for this week. Yes, yeah, Simmons looking down. Mm-mm. 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 This is whenever you buy on the Finns game. Yeah, Finns by thirteen. I mean, it pains us to do it, folks, but gotta pay the Tigers, man. That's Miami beats up on bad teams, and they're at home. Tennessee hasn't shown us anything a bad the last team. couple weeks to really give us anything to want to bet on. Them. Listen, uh, if it breaks our heart, folks. If but. Tennessee puts up twenty four, we played well. If Miami puts up anything less than thirty five to forty, they didn't play how they could have. Exactly. We'll put it that way. So, uh, expecting a route to this game, Miami by thirteen. I it went up to fourteen at one point, but it came back mm-hmm. down. So, get it while you can. Uh. Pains us to do it, folks. But from a gambling perspective, Miami's probably going to pull this one off. All right, for my first pick, I'm going back to the line, man. I know I've done this just about every week, but it keeps hitting. Niners by 10 and a half against Seattle. Bang, bang, bang again. I mean, they just beat them two weeks ago on Thanksgiving. It, it was a wrap. In Seattle. Now they're in, in San Francisco, uh, Santa Clara, actually. But, you know, I know the fam is going to be at that game. It's going to be a divisional game. A lot of lot, lot of heated rivalry. Hold so. on. Did y'all hear that? What's that? Bang, bang, Niner gang, baby. Bang, bang, Niner gang, baby. Yeah, so we're rocking with him, man. We're going to take him again. I know it's a big spread, but hop all over, man. Gino's already written back. I, I don't think we really got much else to say. I don't think Kenneth Walker's going to play in this game either. Zach Charbonnet, not really scared of. No, definitely um, not scared of Charbonnet. Oh, yeah, and um, Tr- Charvarius Ward just owns DK Metcalf, so. I don't think he's going to do a lot of signing this week. Cameron, what you got for your second pick? I'm going to Kansas City and some barbecue and hanging out with my homies. Oh, yeah. My homie yeah. minus one and a half. Get it while you can. Yeah, the Madden curse is real, folks. Fade Josh Allen. I don't think Josh is going to do anything. Yeah. This might just be a route by Kansas City. I mean, Kansas City by under a field goal is kind of disrespectful. Hot so. take. Josh Allen is just our new generation's Ben Roethlisberger. I was going to say Philip Rivers, but... I really think Jay Herbo's the new Philip Rivers. I, I, I just don't know if Herbo likes popping out 12 mm-hmm. babies at a time. Yeah. Um, Josh Allen is just, he's giving us glimpses of elite, but he's just not that guy. So, got to fade him. Mahomes kind of owns him. Uh, for my next pick, I got to take the Rams plus seven and a half. Lamar is a big favorite, folks. You, you got to fade him. Every, I think we looked it up. Before we got on the podcast, that the Ravens were twelve and four against the spread. Mm-hmm. No, 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 uh, eight and four against the spread. Every time Lamar is a favorite of three or more, you gotta fade him. He doesn't cover. He wins against NFC teams, but he really doesn't cover against them. So seven and a half is too many points for this Rams team. And uh, Puka Nakua, Stafford, Cup, everybody's gonna keep working. So. I'm liking the Rams this week. Cameron, who you got for your last pick? I might be a glutton for punishment because, I mean, I'm taking Detroit minus three. I mean, he's back on it, folks. back on it. I mean, yeah. The the Detroit offense is – that's not the problem. It's clicking. but uh, It's the defense. It's the defense we're scared about. Jared Goff outdoors. um, They got so many (coughs) options that they can keep it going at any point, so. Detroit minus three is always alive. Worst case scenario, I think this is really just a push. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't, I don't trust that Bears team, especially yeah. with Fields back. <laughs> yeah, no. It's gonna be a slippery game. Uh, probably a low scoring game. Get on the under if you can. But Detroit minus three is a play. I've seen some three and a half, but shot for the three or five points. But for my last pick, um, John is like more. Who do we have in the back? Um. For the book it? No, no, no. no for uh, six my six pack. Um, drawing a blank, folks. I'm sorry. 49ers, Dallas, and Rams. Oh, yeah. I had Dallas by three and a half. Um, I was going back and forth all week on this one. Uh, they, I like the Eagles at the beginning of the week. I wanted to take the three and a half points, but I'm going to lay the three and a half with Dallas. Dallas has been pretty good to me this year, and the Eagles and Dallas always go back and forth for uh, Win one, lose one, and they're in Dallas's defense. So I like Dallas by three and a half. Um, I think last time we had Philly by what, three and a half, four, 
and then Dallas makes the, makes that two point conversion <coughs> to the cover. Yeah. So uh, I think we could kind of get that similar magic on the Dallas side this week, and I'm comfortable taking them. And Dak, we trust. He's actually, hmm. I think, second in MVP race right now. Uh, Dak is not odds. as bad as everybody makes him out to be. Dak is not the turnover machine. Everybody says he is. Statistically, if I put a blindfold on you and I read you Patrick Mahomes' stats versus Dak's stats, you would take Dak thinking that it was the Patrick Mahomes stat line. That's all I have to say. Rant over. TED Talk over. Executive Yeah, I mean, Dak's not that bad. I co-signed Dak. He's had a pretty good year so far. I mean, last year he was a turnover machine. He was throwing picks every single day. He's had a turnaround. Uh, They got a couple of good offense down there in Dallas. And <coughs> the defense is humming, so uh, I'm bringing it to him, folks. That's the six-pack for the week. You know we had to bring him the fuck oh. of the week. Folks, Uh, so we're going with something a little familiar. We did this last week. It's kind of a good method. I mean, a teaser's a teaser. Yeah. For the fuck of week, we got a three-team teaser, just like we did last week. But we're spicing it up a little bit. All right. First leg. Really? Rams. The only spice up we did was Tampa Bay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's but the only spice we did. Hey, but yeah. Whatever hits, hits, man. We, we took Rams at that minus or the plus seven and a half. So we got six points onto that. So it's minus th- plus 13 and a half now. Yep. Like, yep. Six point NFL teaser, folks. Yeah. All yeah. right. So we got Rams from seven and a half to 13 and a half. Mm-hmm. Denver we got from plus three to nine. Yep, Denver. I mean, Chargers don't blow out anybody. No, they no. Don't, they, they don't win more than six. Yeah, especially at home. Like the Chargers really haven't been uh, a good team at home this year. So, uh, like Denver getting a lot of points, and then last one, Tampa Bay was at um they were they were at they're a getting one, a one and a half points like underdog it up to seven and a half points. Yeah, well they can straight up just outright win that game. Yeah, I mean I like Tampa Bay just winning that game to be honest. Uh. They're a small dog, but I mean it's Atlanta. I know Atlanta's at home, but Atlanta doesn't blow anybody out, especially not a division rival. So nah, that was kind of the thought process for the teaser this week. The fuck it, and I, I kind of like it. It's like what plus one, plus one sixty, one sixty you know, again. So, yeah, you know, go ahead and maybe increase the unit size. We said that last week that um, you know. At eleven go, and five, you might as well. At yeah. eleven and five, you might as well go ahead yeah. and increase that unit size. So yeah, we had good eleven and five, week. folks. Eleven you, and five. If folks. you didn't hear that, eleven and five. Eleven and five, folks. Um, what was that one more time for the people in the back? Eleven and five. Eleven and five. Hey, we are over eleven and five. We are we, eleven and five. We are over. Five. We are we are over two thirds. Actually, are, I did have some stats for the folks before we get off. So um, we're doing the season long tracker over here at the FCGP. We're doing. Decent folks, we're getting ourselves more into the black. So, so far on the year, we are 43 and 35 overall on the six pack. And let me remind that at halfway through the Kim, season, you gonna let me hang? Okay, oh, thank no, you, no. sir. Thank you. Sir. No. Let me remind halfway through the season, we were at an exact 500. Yeah, yeah, we were pretty much hanging around 500 all year, and now we're kind of Basically, turning the jets on. Um, so let's go by record. I am one game over 500 at 20 and 19, and Cameron coming in at a whopping 23 and 16, folks. Sheesh. Tip your hat. Um, don't drop your crown, King. We've been doing pretty good this year. Uh, we're trying to turn it on. We're trying to bring y'all the picks. Thank y'all for riding with us, man. We are so close to our goal of 50 subscribers, 50 likes, man, 50 followers. We're so close, and we appreciate everybody riding with us, man. This is one last push. That's all we need. We're getting there, folks. One last push to get over. Hey, what were we last week? 45? 11 and 5. 11 and 5, folks. So no, this week. This week. Oh. Overall, uh, this, last week, 11 and 5. 11 yeah. and 5. 11 and 5, baby. So we're 11 and 5. <laughs> Tap in with us, folks. We had a good week last week. We're trying to keep it going. going to be. You said what? 11 and 5? I don't know this is. Yeah. <laughs> 11 and 5. The thumbnail is just going to be Cameron's surprise face like, with 11 and 5. 11 and 5. 11 and 5. No, we're we're going to do a Darman-esque <laughs> thumbnail for this one. You will never guess what this man did when he went 11 and 5. <laughs> Find out what we did over on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. But this has been the Forklift Certified Gambling Podcast. I am Forklift Certified Gambling on IG, Forklift Certified Gambler on TikTok. 
with my co-host, Cam the G. Executive producer Mo in the background. Yeah, peace.